Hello everyone and welcome to my very first touch designer tutorial. During the following we're going to learn how to build ourselves a simple yet super powerful version of a theremin by just using connect in this case B2 version 2 and touch designer. I'll not get into much technical detail, there's plenty of documentation about it in a few sites that I'll be attaching in the description of this video. So let's get things started. We're gonna start from the bottom, I'm just gonna leave that. So, the first thing we're going to need is a Kinect Chop from which we're going to take a few parameters to play with. So I'm going to take my right hand with the use of the select chop and underscore R. Okay, I got the hand parameters from here to here far more simple and I'm going to divide this with a few selects I'm going to divide the X axis from the Y axis So, and here is probably the most important part of the tutorial. We need to specify our Kinect Chop, the range of values we're going to use with our, in this case, right hand, and to which value we're going to transform it so we can use later on this value to control our oscillators. Yeah, we're going to use oscillators to imitate it or not imitate. Just make a simple plain theremin. In this case, I'm using the X axis, but we are also going to make use of the Y axis too. In fact, I'm going to make use of the Y axis first. So, how are we going to do what I just said? We're going to use the math chop. Is it recording? Yeah. So, I'm going, I don't have a large room, so, and I don't want to extend my arm too much. I want it to be comfortable. So, I'm going to go from here. No. going to go from here 0 0.39 minus 0 0.39 to 0 0.27 27 So, remember, the from range 
will be the values we are going to use physically. I'm using from minus 0 0.39 to 0 0.27 because it's comfortable I'm not extending too much and the two range will be into what values we want to transform the original ones okay in this case I'm going to I'm sorry in this case we are going to control the first oscillators pitch okay I'm gonna create it right now audio oscillator mm -mm -mm. device out where it is here it is Mm, probably a noise. Noise. And a little bit less of volume. It's already working, but you can't just listen it yet. You don't need to create this last audio device is it just for you to guys to listen uh -uh. for now and I'll be needing my beautiful <laughs> okay so recording yeah we are going to control the base frequency of this oscillator with our right hands y-axis from top to bottom. Let's make an all here. Great. So, I left you guys a cheat sheet. Yeah. With the range of frequencies per octave. Okay. This will be the values that you need to put on to the math to range okay depending on what octave we want to use in this case I'll be using the fourth octave which is from 130 to uh, 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 130 to and we can see that it's already transforming the original values to the ones I told him to that's great and then we we can just simply drag this null into the base frequency and voila already working not sounding we can turn it on <laughs> First oscillator working. That's great. I'm gonna turn this. Get off. Okay. Okay. So we have our first oscillator up and running, and now we are going to configure the x-axis. We're going to recording. Yeah. We're just gonna copy and paste this, but we're going to connect it. Oh no! To our x-axis, and we're going to control the amplitude. 
the amplitude goes to 10 okay from 0 to 10 so we're going to do the same we did with the y-axis but now yeah all over again so I'm going to go through from yeah, 0 no 0 0.6 Zero point zero six two. Okay. Zero point fifty six. That's the range we're going to use. I don't want to extend too much. And we're going to transform those values into. Yeah, from zero to ten to control the amplitude of our first oscillator yeah no this one is not working we're gonna make a new note and there you have it great okay the same we did before drag the value and drop it in the amplitude chop reference there we have it. Great. Let's try this out. Turn it on. Let's turn it off. Okay. We get our first oscillator completely up and running. Of course, from now on, it's all experimentation. We can add oscillators, uh, configure our right, ha left hand, sorry, the same way we did with our right hand to control all sorts of different parameters. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now. It's fairly simple. We're going to copy and paste all this, but we're going to adjust it to our left hand. Try to do it as fast as I can. Uh, uh, uh. Y axis. X axis perfect. Let's erase this and this, and the same way we did, we did with our right hand. We're going to go from minus zero thirty. Yeah, 39, it's okay. Two, now uh, we're gonna keep those values, but we're going to use another octave. Mm, the third one goes from 64 to 130. 64, 130, that's great. And now the x-axis will go to, yeah, it's okay. 0 0.7 to 76 okay 57 and we're going to keep the two range values because we're going to control the amplitude again of our second oscillator let's tweak this a bit let's make a So, drag and drop again the values. We're going to use the y axis to control the base frequency. Great. And the x axis to control the amplitude. And there we have it. Are both 
oscillators, let's give it a try. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> of possibilities almost no limits only the parameters we have so there we have it oh, let's turn this off so there we have it our two oscillator theremin up and running as that said before super simple extremely capable of things uh, as I said before uh, we could start adding oscillators effect chains we get plenty of parameters to play with you can take a look at your Kinect shop we can add parameters like face tracking this is a pretty cool one you can use your Okay. your eyes your face to I don't know control effect chains with our eyes that's insane so hope you guys enjoy it and